Hello everyone! Today I'm going to show you how to make a very interesting dress. Have a look at the sketch. It was made by one of the subscribers of my Russian channel. These are the two fabrics I'm going to make a dress of. These are modeling fabrics. When Ola saw the sketch, she said that she also wants it. Have a look here. This is not really a sketch. It's just that the tailors of my fashion house were trying to understand how to make this dress. We made the mock-up. Ola will try it on, and we will draw all the needed lines on it. I'll try to explain how we came up with these ideas. We printed this picture and started thinking how to make it. This is not a sketch. These are just our thoughts on the paper. This is how the dress will look like from the front. Dark green line, blue one, dark green line, blue one, dark green line. This is how the back will look like. Let me match the shoulders. There will be no seam here. There will be no seam on this shoulder either. This will be the only seam here, the one which connects the green and the blue details. As I've already said, this is going to be a spiral-shaped dress. This is just a very raw sketch. We'll draw these lines on the mock-up very accurately. When we do it, we'll get a ready-made pattern. I remind you that there will be no seams on the shoulders. Have a look here. We want to make seamless sleeves, but at the same time, we don't want to make these parts too wide. This is why we decided to make small darts here. The seams which will connect these details will be the only seams in this dress. This is how the blue shoulder detail will look like. And this is how the green one. There will be no shoulder seams. Next, Ola will put the mock-up on for us to draw the lines. Ola is wearing the mock-up. There were a lot of seams in it. Let's start drawing. First, I need to draw this line. It should go from the shoulder to the armhole. We will make a spiral-shaped pattern. I'll sign that this is the green detail, and this is the blue one. The first line is ready. I think that maybe I will make an interesting neckline here, but I'll think about it later. Now I'm just showing you the technique. These lines should go to the back and then down to the side. Of course, I will make the lines more straight and beautiful when I put the dress on the table. Let's have a look at the line. It starts on one shoulder and then goes round and down. It's a bit about the waistline here. Let's have a look at the line once again. It starts on the shoulder and then goes down this way. This is where it ends now. Next, we need to draw the second line. It starts from the same point. It goes down to the armhole. Next, I need to make it reach this point. It should end about 5 cm above the waistline.
I remind you that this is the blue detail. I want to sign the lines. This is the first one. This is the same line. The second one starts here. Here it is. This is also the second line. The two lines are ready. This is the first one. And this is the second one. You can place the lines however you want. I'm just showing you the techniques. I want to thank our subscriber who sent this sketch. She made us use our imagination. This is where the second line is now. Next I need to draw it from this point to the middle of the hip on the other side. This is the green detail. Green, blue, green. This leaf will be green and the second one will be blue. This is the blue detail. This is the green one. This is the blue detail. This is the green one. The dress will actually consist of the two details, a green one and a blue one. Anyway, there is a lot of work ahead before we start cutting the dress. Have a look at this point. This line should go to the hip. I need to continue drawing this line. Next, it should go down to the bottom. Of course, the line should be made more straight. This detail will be blue. This is going to be a green detail. Sign everything in order not to make mistakes. Next, I need to draw the lines of the back. I want this line to end a bit before the side seam. I remind you that there will be no side or shoulder seams in this dress. There will also be no seams on the center front or center back. The only seams in this dress will be the ones which connect these details. Next, Ole will take the mock-up off and I'll put it on the table to make all the lines more beautiful. This is the line I drew first. I need to make it straight and beautiful. I need to cut the first line. To do that, I need to make a notch on the shoulder. All the details are signed. Next, I need to continue cutting this line.
To do that, first I need to draw it. Now I can start cutting. I had to pin the mock-up because in originally it was a mock-up for a quarter circle dress. I can't wait to have a look at the pattern. This is where I stopped cutting and this is where the detail ends. Make the lines more straight. We need to make the dresses look beautiful. Do not forget to sign all the details. This is where I started cutting the first detail. Now I need to start cutting the second one from the same point. I'll sign that this is the center back. I will have to remove the taken from the sleeves. This is what I'm going to do now. Oh, they're not tacked, they're pinned. This is how the pattern for a green detail looks like. I've already pinned it to the fabric. The blue one will be similar to this one. I sent all the details. Center back, center front, sleeve, bottom, Neckline. This is very important. The pattern is ready. That's all for today. Be different and beautiful. We are Pakshterina and Ola. Please subscribe to my channel, write comments, share videos, and press the like and the bell buttons. Thank you. Goodbye.